21. What's so special about these that they're five dollars for a toothbrush? I just bought one for like a dollar, bro. But it doesn't have the micro pulse bristles for a superior clean. Eight. Fifteen. Twenty-four. Shout out to Into the AM. Wipe out their whole inventory. You know, I'm pretty sure you can, you can grab the box. Bro, if you walk, if you walk in the store and you buy this right here, out of everything in the whole store, you buy that. Dollar sixty-five. That's that's a mill right there. That. Bro, this walking. basket is heavy as hell. Okay. See, bro, I don't even count. I just rely on faith. <laughs> that's what it's about. That's exactly that's what, what I do. Video, like, bro. It always balances Dude, out. The law of attraction. I'm telling you, bro. I feel so bad about like whoever has to check us out at the register, bro. <laughs> oh, that's coming straight for you. That. Um, yeah. Being yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> How to get lean at Walmart. Exercise number. Throw your water at least five times. <laughs> yeah. $475. What? Down to suck with me. My name is Jordan, and I approve of Into the AM. Check me out at Mr. Maver, M-I-S-T-R-M-A-V-E-R. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh man, Merry I got some food for you. All right, thank you. You go. Bro. Merry Christmas. Appreciate it, bro. Yo. Oh. Merry Christmas, yo. You too. Hey, y'all need some food? Merry Christmas, man. You too. You go, too. There you go, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Merry Christmas, yo. Do you need some food? Where y'all trying to go? <laughs> no we, we got food. If you want some. Oh, y'all just handing out food? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take some. Yeah. How y'all doing? We're doing good. good. Hello, too. Hey, we appreciate the help. Hey, thank you. For real, real thank man. Thank you for letting us Merry around. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All that, man. Yes, yes, sir. sir. You know what I'm saying? How about yes, the ball? Yes, sir. We up in there, bitch. Got to take it. Yeah, of course. I recognize it. <laughs> Here you go. Merry Christmas, man. Ooh, my man Bryce is hustling here. Let me get some. You guys need some food? No problem, man. A couple bags for y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Here you go. You need some food? Merry Christmas. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Veronica Olivia Yarbrough. I am 40 years old. I was born on April 25th. 1980. I'm trying to get my ID here at this place, but I've been having a rough time over and over for like 20 years, being hooked on every kind of drug. I'm a certified nurse's assistant, and I'm a patient care technician. I used to work at Methodist Hospital. I used to work at that Fair Park um, Healthcare right there on Martin Luther King. 
I used to work at rehabilitation on the eighth floor at Methodist Hospital for, I mean, for a long time. I decided, I put in my resignation around like uh, New Year's a long time ago because I want to take care of my daughter. I got pregnant. I became homeless because this new project that we're doing is I'm working with a lot of men. They're saying that I'm a prostitute. It seems like they wants me dead. Not too long ago, somebody hit me in my eye and I didn't know what happened. I have real bruises all over me. I'm having a hard time to even get my ID, my social security card and stuff like that and getting back to work. I really can't work because I'm in a lot of pain. I don't think that I'm a prostitute. I'm trying to figure out what love is. I really want to have a husband, a nice home and a family. I don't have any of that anymore. They don't even come around me, for real. I don't know what to do to get off these streets out here, sleeping on the ground like these people are. I mean, so far it's not, I mean, I've come a long way for real, working with these people out here on the streets. There's not that many, very many left, but the, they see me. I don't want to be out here like this. It's fine. I mean, I, I'm not allowed to have another social security card. You only get 10 in a lifetime. Do you think that I'm a homie for real? Do I think you're a what? A whore? No. Do I look like one? No. Do I look like a prostitute? Everybody, you know, just, just just looks at me for real. They know me, but they won't help me. Like, you know, I'm I'm serious. You said you have a daughter, right? Yes, I have a daughter. She's 19 years old. She just had a baby. She's supposed to go to college for free. She was taken to child protective services at the age of five. I have a son. He's 15. I thought he was 13. He's 15. I had a son. I have a son in Missouri. He was taken away from me. The lady said, oh, we're going to take good care of him. He was adopted. All of my friends are holding that against me because my kids got to go away from me. Now they're calling me crackhead. Those don't sound like friends to me. Do your kids know you're out here? No, they don't. Have you tried reaching out to them in any way? Yes, I worry about them all the time. Tell me, how can I get some help, for real, to get a stable place to stay? I was really like, um, I'm homeless. I really think that these people out here shouldn't be sleeping outside on the ground. People are really trying to get some help. Have you tried reaching out to your daughter recently? Yes, I'm looking for her. What's her name? Her name is Deja Shamarian Yarbrough. And do you know where she lives at, like the general area? No, I don't. You don't know if she lives like in Dallas or anything like that? No, I don't. Can you spell her name for me? D-E-J-A Shamarian Yarbrough. I've been looking for my family. I sat up there, I sit up there for real, waiting for them to come and get me. And I, I can't help them pay bills, pay their bills. I can't afford to buy anything. I'm serious. All I have is $5. This is all that I have for real left of me. No idea, nothing, sleeping on this ground. I'm trying to figure out how can I get some help. I'll tell you what, we'll do what we can to try to find your daughter and get in contact with her and, you know, show her the footage that, you know, we're filming right now. And, um, you know, I'll try to help you out after the interview, too. I worry about my daughter all the time. I really do. I worry about her a whole lot. I'm very worried about my daughter. Can you please help me find her? We're going to do what we can, for sure. Okay.